Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we're getting back to work on the siding job. So I'm going to be working on the first floor south side of the house, which is um, about twice the size wall as the last one. So what I'm doing here is getting my window frame batten stained with light gray stain. I find it a lot easier to do this staining ahead of time and that way it's just a touch-up job after that. Before I got started pulling boards off, I went along banging them here, hoping to scare up any yellow jackets or hornets that might be there so I can find out just what it is I'm going to be dealing with. So you can see here the kind of job that was done on this. It's just, it's just open. Of course it's just cement underneath it, but still there was a very large hornet nest in there, which I have sprayed and they're not very happy with me. These are yellow jackets, not or, or these are hornets, not yellow jackets. So. They don't swarm you like the uh, yellow jackets do. They kind of come at you one at a time. And there's quite a pile of dead ones at the bottom here, but I think there's still a few. There is still hornets coming out from behind here. Well, we'll get this one off. Hopefully not get stung too badly. And then we'll take a break for lunch and get back to uh, putting more stain on our battens. All right, let's see what we discover under here. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. <sighs> yeah, they're not so healthy now. I don't understand why they left such a massive gap like that. I mean, it's just so untidy. <sighs> All right, let's go for lunch and then we'll get back at it. So all of these boards along the bottom, under the window, the only thing holding them in place is a couple of nails right at the top, underneath the window. Otherwise, there's nothing there. I can't believe this has actually stayed on this long. Well, that's something I wasn't expecting. I'm not sure why this is here. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Well, we're getting closer. Got to get the pieces off around the windows and along the top of the windows. Those will be kind of fun. It's been a real ongoing battle with the hornets. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. Well, good morning, folks. It's another day. We're going to get back at this and hopefully get the last of the boards off. Uh, I continue to have hornet issues out here. So there's something about a warm wall that seems to really attract them. I would have thought they would have given up by now because I've pretty much wiped everything out. But any place there is still a board, they seem to, to go for. So we've supposedly got some more rain coming this afternoon. My objective is to get these last few boards off and these nails out that are uh, really brutally long nails that are along the, the wood at the top of the cement foundation. What a strange setup this has been. You never know what you're going to find until you start peeling stuff off. Well, I'm armed with more uh, Hornet spray. I'm gonna get my uh, portable bench back out here with the spray on it. We're gonna chase off the few Hornets that are still buzzing around. Hopefully I won't get any more stings. I got one yesterday. Let's go get the bench and get to work. There's always something around that wants to sting you and, or bite you, especially in the mornings for some reason.
Well, let's see if we can get some work done before that rain comes in. Well, as they were promising, the weather is changing fast. I've got all the boards off here now and got it cleaned up, except for the uh, very end one that's holding the eaves trough. I'm going to do it later. Ah, oh, darn it. The rain is starting. Okay, we're going to do a little something about that. So we are under an overhang here, so I'm going to see what I can get done. So I have a real advantage here that the window installer did not have. The siding is gone. So I can get way back in there and really pour the foam to it. I'm running out of time, I can hear the thunder. Keep going. That's it, we're halfway. Well folks, we've had a really good start at this one. So the only boards I got left is one at the far end here that's holding the uh, downspout for the eaves trough but it's just got a couple of nails in it, so it will be very easy to take off. We had some fun with hornets. At least it wasn't yellow jackets. There was probably at least a hundred nests behind the siding on this wall. Now, a lot of them were abandoned nests for whatever reason. I don't know how hornets work, but there was a lot of abandoned nests, but there was still quite a few active ones. So that was a challenge to deal with and that slowed me down quite a bit. We went through a number of cans of hornet spray but this morning we have none here and that's a good thing but it is a much much cooler morning. The sun is not out. When the sun comes out and beats on these walls that seems to be what attracts them to the walls. So basically no real surprises under this wall because I got used to that except for one thing that we're gonna to try to figure out in the next video. I don't know what was going on here, but I'll show you uh, what I found. Now, I do see staples all over the place on the wood on this wall. So I'm imagining that this tar paper was everywhere on the wall down to the bottom, but this is the only sign of the tar paper that's left. Everything else all the way along from that end is gone. But that's okay, we're replacing all of that with house wrap. So what I found was this. So the foundation comes over to here and then basically stops. So this is, this is just, as you can see, this is just particle board that comes over to here. and appears to be hollow. <laughs> what the heck is going on? We're gonna have to take this off and find out what's behind here. Why is there not foundation that goes all the way across to the end of the wall? <sighs> really weird. This place is just full of mysteries. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video, folks. On the next video, We'll get this off and have a look if we're not out haying. So it'll be interesting to have a peek behind this thing and see if we can figure out what's going on. Because this, is, this isn't any good. It's rotting along the bottom. So I've got to replace this with something. 
I just don't know yet what that's going to be yet. I may have to build some kind of frame back behind here because there, there's, there's nothing there. Anyway, that will be it for today's video, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to tune in for the next one when we discover what's behind this thing. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.